Good morning. I'm filming this video on Thursday morning, March 19th. Last week at this time we were cautiously optimistic and expecting to worship on March 15th. Uh, Sunday morning we had changed the sermon series so it was more reflective of our uh, current life situation but it turns out uh, that as the cases of the virus in Volusia County escalated and we weren't sure where they were we had to make the decision out of an abundance of caution and care for each other not to put ourselves in a position where we would be the ones transmitting the disease. So out of care for you we have uh, canceled worship for the time being not exactly sure when we'll start that back up and all small groups have been canceled as well it doesn't mean that we're not thinking about you and praying about you and trying to find ways to connect I had hoped for a couple more weeks that we would be able to get our act together while we were still able to be in worship together and try to figure out ways ahead of time but now we are behind the scenes making all the kinds of plans we can to try to make sure we can reach out to you and connect to you and engage in ways that allow us to feel like we're still community even if it's from a distance and find ways to grow our spiritual life as we prepare for Easter even if it's from a distance you are loved and we care about your needs we're going to make some videos each week. We're going to try to make a bunch of phone calls each week. We're going to recommend that small groups reach out to each other. But if you've got needs that you uh, can't figure out how to meet, and maybe our church community can help, let us know. Call the church office. We'll put the number in the description below. We'll also have places and links so you can uh, connect in different kinds of ways. Uh, if you've not engaged us on our Facebook page, that's probably a good idea. We'll put a link for that below. And we're going to try to put together some forms online that allow folks to put down their prayer concerns and their needs so that we can continue to adjust those and reach out in ways that we're able and, uh, and it's safe to do. You should know that the church office, the staff still coming in, but we've kind of put it on lockdown in hopes of making sure that we don't have to, to go around sanitizing nonstop. Even the staff have, have been told to only use certain doors and certain restrooms so that we can keep those places clean as much as possible. There are only two parts of our church community that are really still at a fairly normal um, meeting schedule. The day school is still meeting, although the Volusia County school system is adjusting their schedule, so our VPK program is affected. But we wanted to make sure that those families that had parents that needed to have child care so that they could do their jobs were not put in a place where their financial position for the next few months is affected because we closed the daycare. So we're trying to stay open and we are cleaning like crazy to try to make sure that those families get a service that helps them in their daily life. We also are keeping open our hospitality house and we've provided all kinds of sanitizing uh, sprays and wipes and those kind of things and, and told them to make sure they're taking care of it. We know that if that particular ministry closes, those folks are particularly vulnerable and we want to make sure they can stay connected in whatever ways we are able to do so. It kind of goes along with the biblical imperative that we were given, that we are supposed to care for the strangers, the lost, the poor, the orphan, the widow. It's part of our biblical mandate to care for individuals who are the most vulnerable in our society. And so part of the reason that we are working really hard to do what we can to be connected to the hospitality house and the day school is because of that mandate. We do care about you. We care about your unmet needs as well. So please take advantage of the different ways to be in contact. We will continue to adjust our ways of connecting so that we continue to be a community together. If you are used to using YouTube, you can do a few things that help find out what, when a new video is released. There's a subscribe button at the bottom of the page as well as a notification bell. 
Um, I think that probably after a little while you'll be tired of the notification bell, so in a couple of weeks you'll want to turn that one off. But subscribing to the YouTube channel for Coronado Community United Methodist Church can get us connected quicker. And so I encourage you to subscribe and push the notification bell for now. That may be enough um, for this first introductory video for us at Coronado Community United Methodist Church. We'll get more videos up soon, especially before Sunday, so that we can begin to feel more and more connected. You are loved. We are praying for you. Keep us in your prayers as well. Can't wait to see you.